record my how and why I converted to Islam story because I felt I was a little bit rambly and it went on for a little bit too long. <laughs> so, sorry about that. So, um, I converted in November 2012, so six months ago. I decided to convert for many reasons. One of the reasons was I have a lot of Muslim friends um, who are just really wonderful. And another reason was because the media representation of Muslims and of Islam and I wanted to understand better why they were saying what they were saying and really so that I could discuss ed like educated have an educated discussion about these issues and just to understand if they what they were saying was right because when um the impression that the media gives of Muslims does not is not in line with my Muslim friends. So I read the Quran. It took me a few weeks because I'm in my final year of university and I'm obviously quite busy. And once I began reading it, I began to realise, you know, like, wow, this this was written nearly fourteen hundred years ago. And yet they knew all these things like um like about the two waters and one is salt and one is not salt water and they don't mix in the middle and just about seven layers of the sky and things like that and um i used to be very into science um when i was studying it at college and things and so it really appealed to me in that way and alhamdulillah i just i found it's so beautiful and so amazing and it really affected me and really touched me so I I never planned on converting but how could I not when it had affected me like it had so after I had read the Quran actually I was in the process of um, <clears throat> of getting a tattoo so I naturally abandoned that um, and said my shahada and when I said my shahada I had this overwhelming sense of peace and calm. I was born into a um, Catholic Christian household and I wasn't born, I wasn't brought up strictly Catholic. I had a, a great upbringing, mashallah, I've got wonderful parents. Um, but uh, at school we used to have to pray and sing hymns in the morning but I'd never felt connected to God. Um, I always believed there was a God but I didn't feel connected in the way that I do now. So um, things weren't always perfect and great. I was bullied really badly and really heavily in high school and I held on to that anger and upset for a long time in my life. Um, I used to get very anxious about it and I didn't have the best methods of coping with it. Let's leave it like that. Um, but then I went on to college and I had for the first time some really great friends. But then, you know, one thing after another, um, in June 2009, I lost my grandfather. This was really a difficult thing for me because I was very, very close to my grandfather. He meant so much to me. We used to go on holidays together. He was a teacher, so he used to look after me in the school holidays. He used to drive me to friends' houses when I was young. He used to take me out. He just, we used to spend so much time together and he was only 62 years old. We lost him very suddenly to leukemia and I wasn't expecting it at all. So all of a sudden I was without one of the most important people in my life. And I just, I didn't understand why. I thought, why would God do this? Why would he take someone so young from a family who loves him so? And I was questioning God. And I would say that I held on to this upset, and of course I still miss my grandfather so much, but now it's I feel differently about it because 
I don't question God anymore. I know whatever he chooses to do is right and for the best. So I feel a lot more at peace about losing my grandfather and that's something that coming to Islam has really helped me with. Um, so I, um, since I've converted I've tried to spend any free time that I have learning more about the religion learning hadith and sunnah, just things I should be doing, ways I should dress, ways I should behave, things I should eat. So it's been a wonderful journey. It's been a journey that has changed me, made me feel a lot happier and calmer. And I just, I'm really happy now. <laughs> I can finally say that honestly. Um, so, what else? I forget what I said in my first video, I'm just trying to make it a little bit shorter and still tell you guys the truth. Hmm. <laughs> um, I guess that's um, about all there is to say. Um, if you guys have any questions about my conversion, about anything at all, um, do free, feel free to leave me a comment. Oh, I remember what I said in the last video is that a lot of people think that this is kind of an, um, it's an Arab religion, it's an Arab way of life. But I just want to say to anybody who thinks that is that it's not true. What The way that Muslims live is because we have been told it's a very moral way to live and I'm not saying if you're not Muslim then you don't live morally I'm just saying that we've been told that this is the way that pleases God this is the way that um, helps others we are expected to give charity um, <clears throat> we are expected to be modest and you know not take boyfriends things like this and I think it's just, it's more of a good way to live, and why would it have spread outside of the Arab world if it was such an Arab culture? culture? And as for the hijab, then that's also to protect women's um, modesty, to protect us from the gaze of men. Um, and it's also, when this, when this is on, you're kind of wrapped in a bubble. You are, you, you are wrapped in the bubble of, of God's love, I would say. And that's something very special that we as women have been given and not something that represses us because in the end a lot of women who are Muslim choose not to wear it and those who do choose to wear it that we all have our own reasons but at the end of the day it's something that that God has asked us to do in order to protect us and in order to remind us of his protection and love for us. So thank you very much for reading, uh, watching, reading, jeez, <laughs> and um, I hope you guys enjoyed it, anything to say, leave me a comment, okay, peace!